Hey everybody, welcome back. It is the morning, well, early, late, later morning of day 27. We're on our way northwest. Um, so a lot of things has happened in the past few days. At first we lost, we lost um, connection with command. Um, but then we picked up connection with them again, which is great. Um, and they informed us uh, that the information that uh, we had provided them about the Higashi station our Higashi Tower was indeed correct. Looks like that was the corporation that started this whole zombie thing. Uh, whether it was intentional or not, they're not exactly sure, but they are investigating right now. So, in order to fight the menace, it looks like somehow those um, uh, towers on the top of the Higashi uh, buildings are either influencing the way the zombies migrate or whatever I don't know they're not exactly sure what it is so it, it would seem that um, Higashi is in it um, kind of on purpose creating this apocalypse while like like what the reasoning for it is we still don't know um, but they managed to get my gyrocopter up and running which is great uh, we had a problem with weight to lift ratio the mechanics that they sent in were uh, more than capable of uh, helping me out with this. So we were able to get it flying. So we're heading up to the two traders to the northwest to let them know that it's probably time to evacuate. Um, this place is most likely going to get overrun with zombies. Uh, only because if Agachi is now aware um, that we're on to them, they're most likely going to try and overrun this whole area to stop us from, from working against them. So we're keeping an eye out here for uh, more radio towers that co could possibly be causing issues. Um, not seeing any right now, but we do know that there is one up to the northwest. Now landing on top of a building, that looks like one over there. That could be the, that looks like the one we saw before. So we're gonna bank a little bit here and head over this way. Um, yeah, it looks like that building right up ahead of us now has got one of those towers on it. Now landing on this building could be difficult. I can easily land on it, but the trick is taking off again. This thing is not very good at lifting off. So we're going to have to storm that building the normal way. Either that or we'll land and disassemble it and go down from the top down. But we need to talk to those traders first. Let them know that their uh, existence here is in jeopardy. Um, they've also sent um, a group of engineers. We updated the base. Um, and set it up ready just in case there is an invasion uh, we set it up so that we can easily handle that um, so we'll have to take a look at that when we get back now that does look like yeah that is a gachi tower over there there's two of them it looks like one right there and then one right here now, there might be more I'm not seeing any currently. Okay, let's get to the traders, and then we'll decide whether or not we're going to go ahead and uh, land on this building and work our way back down through. All right, here we are. This thing is so unwieldy to, to pilot. Oh, my God. It is one of the most terrible vehicles I've ever piloted. Okay. It's not so bad when it's in the air. It's taking off and landing. That's really a pain. All right, let's tell Jen to clear out. Hey, Jen. Hello, traveler. What's ailing you? I got some money here in my pocket, and it's ailing me. Can you get rid of that for me? Uh, yeah, you need to clear out, girl. It's going to be bad. Uh, the zombies are coming. Massive, massive amounts of them are coming, so you need to clear out. We're going to buy some of your stuff here before you go, though. Stuff that I know we're going to need in the future. Compound bow schematic might be nice. Um, let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, what else do we got here? Night Stalker. Sneak 5% better at night. Let's buy that. Um, uh, is this AP ammo? Yeah, let's buy that. We're probably going to need that. Ooh, 4x4 four four truck. A whole truck. Jen, what is it with you and having, like the best stuff. We got the mini bike from you last time in the crucible. Let's go ahead and buy it. I don't know how we're going to realistically we would never be able to carry this back. Actually, let's drive it back. 
Yeah, let's drive that back. All right, Jen. Alrighty, then. All right, then. All right. Let's use the bow. Let's use this. Use this. And we need to scrap these. So our teammates were able to give us an upgrade to our armor. So we've got level 5 um, helmet, gloves, uh, leg armor, and boots, which is great. Um, we were able to get a bunch of the mods into it which is awesome. Let's grab our chopper here. Let's go ahead and throw this down. It's probably going to take longer to get home with this thing, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and gas it up. I brought lots of gas, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright, let's grab you. Okay, let's go talk to the other trader. He's just over here. Like, I don't know why with that, with the chopper, they should just make it that if you tilt back like this, it goes up, and if you tilt down, it goes down. It would just make the most sense, but it's not how it works. Space key to go up, C key to go down, and it still it doesn't work all that well. Alright, let's go we'll warn this guy. Dude, zombies are coming. You gotta get out of here. Consider yourself warned if you stay. Well, that's not my problem. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, we've got lots of ammo. So don't need to buy ammo. Military fiber schematic. Art of mining. Oh, craft lanterns. Can we buy that? We don't have enough. Oh, yes, we do. Let's go ahead and buy that. Doing business with you. Come back and tell your friends. All right, perfect. Let's bring this down. So the couple things that we do need today. Uh, we need engines. Because we, we have a few items at the uh, new base that require power. Uh, we were able to set up the SMG turrets. And we were able to set up a dart trap. i got to put out the blade, pl blade traps and electronic fences when I get back. Um, I don't think we're going to get a horde tonight. But if we get a horde, we need to be ready for it. So uh, in order to be able to power everything, we need engines for our generator banks. I only had three of them, so we're going to look for engines on the way back. Uh, I was able to spy two more Higachi Towers as well. So most likely we'll take a day. Yeah, see, we're going to have buildings like this that aren't going to show up to. Which is kind of sucky, but... With upgrading to the new... Um, the uh, War 3 ZUK. Uh, it added a few more buildings to the map that I had pulled out that I didn't want to use. So we're going to get some phantom buildings on the map, which, you know, we'll just have to deal with. All right, here's some cars here. Let's pull these apart. Whoops. Let's deal with these guys first. Got one coming up on the left. She's done. Is that a boar? It's an awfully big boar if it is. I don't know. Alright, let's loot this stuff. Alright, we dismantled three cars. We got one engine, one battery. You know, worst case scenario, I could make a battery bank and use batteries. Alright, some more cars here in front of the police station. Let's get these looted up. Alright, we got a zombie here somewhere. I think he's this way? There you are. What's up, fucker? Whoa. That's not good. Stay away from him. Wow, that's uh, not going to be good on Horde Night. Well, there's a crater for you. 
All right, well, it took out a whole car here, too. All right, we've got to keep our eyes open. Well, it looks like we still got one engine, another battery, so we may end up... Well, we got lots of cars to hit up on the way back. I'm not that worried. We're going to look for a parking lot. Well, this is nice. These buses should probably give us one. It's big mama. It's dead mama. Oh, she ain't dead. She is now, though. Where are you? Ooh. She threw that loot bag. She's like, here, take it. I don't want it. That's all you want. Just take it. Take it, I will, for that whole antibiotic and whatever the hell else that was. Heard another zombie. Oh, it's a deer. Free meat. Wow, that was a major lag spike. All right, let's get this done. All right, so of all that, we got like one engine, I think. Oh, we got three engines in total now, so not bad. We got two engines out of those. All right, I got a couple points to spend. Now, I've had to readjust my skill points. Uh, we're gonna add a couple more back into Scavenger here, um, because once once I updated updated to War Three Z. UK, uh, all my, like, everything went back down to zero, so I was level zero, no skill points. I'm getting two per level now, so it's going pretty quick to get everything back to where it was, so. Ooh, here we go. A couple of more buses. Okay, so that gave us another engine. Some more batteries. And I want to thank uh, Anthony for letting me know about uh, Carol Baskins. If you don't know who Carol Baskins is, feel free to look it up online. I had to. Apparently it was her, just in case you were wondering. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, another flare too. Okay, cool. Alright, let's... Uh, Grab the shorty bus and maybe these few other cars and then that'll be it I think for attempting to get uh, engines. We picked up one other we picked up one off that bus. We got four now. So let's try and get five or six of them. Alright, that's all the cars on the lot, but I've never been in this building here. So we're gonna go in here uh, right after we take care of this guy. to center mass this guy. Oh crap. Wow, the ammo waste. Just die. Sit, come and get some. There you go. Alright, let's go in here. Now we got tons of ammo on us, so I'm not worried. Now we did pick up, uh, let's use this book. We did pick up uh, a couple more engines. We got six now. I'm going to go put this stuff actually in the freaking truck here before we go in here because it might get overrun by zombies and I don't want to die. So let's gas it up. Let's go ahead and drop all this stuff in there. And uh, let's go around back. Don't know what we're going to find in here. All right, we got gas barrels down there. Pretty quiet so far. I don't think there's anybody up there. Let's see what this is. Let's get out the silencer. Make sure we're reloaded here. It's all quiet so far. That leads back out front. A couple of splints. Don't know if that's foreshadowing or not. Um, 
Well, I'll tell you what, let's loot these buses, get them wrenched, and then um, we'll hit up the rest of this place. Just repair this. All right. Looks like that one was blocking the door. So we're going to go check that out right after we take care of this. Ooh, Vance Bellows. we got lots of them, so we don't need it, but... but... It's nice to have those advanced bellows anyway. So we got one engine out of those two. Just going to quickly check this before we go inside. Ooh, auger schematic, which we already got. We were able to put that auger to use a little while ago. All right, let's go down here. Check these out. All right, so that was a successful loot. Got a few things we can use. Just going to use these real quick here. All right, let's go in here. Looking pretty quiet. This looks like one of those POIs. It's kind of like devoid of life. I found a few of them that just had nothing in it. Like no zombies at all. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Take the free wood. Oh yeah, the other thing we need today is wood because we're almost completely out of wood. We got 86 wood, that's it. All right, let's break in here. All right, all quiet in the eastern front. Oh, we got upstairs still. All right, let's just grab stuff that we already know we've got on us. Go ahead and scrap these, and we'll just head upstairs. Actually, anything under here? Just boxes. Alright, looks like we're cutting these doors down. I think we may be clear up here, though. So that's all one room. So we don't need to worry about the next door. That's a lot of toilets for a place like this. I, like, okay. Who's going to want to come in here and take a dump sitting, staring at the guy across from you or the girl across from you? Like, I mean, honestly. I'm just saying. All right, well, not so bad, I guess. Let's go ahead and wrench these beds. I want the springs... Um, for making grenades. What's out here, actually? It's all quiet on the western front. Another one. I think this is going to be... Wow, there's like nothing here. A bed. 18 rounds that I never had to use. All right, I'm going to loot this place, and I will meet you guys back downstairs. All right, guys, so I went through almost everything here. There's a couple of things I probably missed, but we're really inconsequential now. We picked up a fair bit of stuff here. I heard that. Fair bit of stuff. Uh, a couple armor pieces. We got another supply flare. Some uh, good food here, which we can use on Horde Night. A couple of other things. Uh, nothing really, really amazing. We found a little bit of ammo, but not much. So but we got 89 springs, which is beautiful. Um, those are really what we need to make grenades and stuff with. Let's just put this in the truck first. Uh, we can drop, I think, all of this stuff in here. So it's getting close to night. We're going to just keep going. Um, I'm gonna, I don't think that should be... <laughs> allowed to be stored in the truck. Although I guess it probably could be. I mean, technically you could probably tow it. Look at that. Can we get that in there? Sure, why not? Alright, we're going to uh, be putting those on soon. Because we're going to stay outside at night a little bit on our way back. Hey, Mama. What's up? 
This thing sounds like a beast when it drives, but it really doesn't go all that fast. It's, I think it's the same speed as the motorcycle, but the motorcycle just feels faster. I think because you're closer to it. You know, you're lower to the, like, you feel like you're lower to the ground, you're closer to it, you're narrow. Okay, you know what? We can't let that that challenge go unanswered. I'm getting some major lag here because it's like rendering, trying to render buildings that don't exist. Like this church I don't think should be here, but whatever. I'm hoping we find a build, like a place, like a military base that we can loot or something here. We're not going to find it in the town, so let's get outside town. Okay, so we've made it back to the house. There wasn't really anything that I saw that we could loot. So I'm going to drop everything off here. And then we're going to do a night raid on that military base. Uh, the one that we weren't able to get into all the, the cases on. So we're going to go over there right after this. So let me just uh, gas this up first. Take that over in case we need to get out of here fast. I'm going to try and take... I don't think we can get up. Well, we might be able to get up. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. We'll use this as an intermediary. Put some stuff in here. There we go. Now we can move. I'm going to just drop everything off right here. I think it'll all fit in here. Alright, we got a zombie dickhead here. Guy, get off my building. I just fixed all this. Damn it, including the metal, everything, I fixed everything and it just, they just go ahead and wreck it. Like honestly. No respect. No respect for the living. I'm not going to be able to fit all this in here. How much can we fit in here? Oh, might just almost be perfect. Nope. Five things. What can we get? What can we scrap? We can scrap this. We'll drop that in there. Uh, what else can we scrap? We don't need... We don't need this. We can scrap that. We don't need this. We can scrap that. And we can drop those guys in there. That can go in there. What else can we do? Uh, let's go ahead and scrap the hammer. Don't need the 36. And then anything else? that we do not need at all. We can go ahead and use this. Beautiful. Then we can scrap this. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of waiting. Drop this, then we'll go. Let's do this. Let's get these on. Now, we've got 14 lockpicks. I don't know how well that's going to do us, but we'll see. Alright, here we are. I have no idea what to expect here. They probably have respawned. Alright, let's keep our eyes open. Wow, is it ever difficult to see uh, zombies? That's one right there, right? Head right there, maybe? Okay, we've got it. They should be all runners now. Keep our eyes open. They're not all runners. Okay. I put a couple of points into armor piercer to help ignore some of their armor a bit. 
I didn't work that well, I don't think. Maybe I should have brought a rocket launcher. Now oh, we've got a snake in here. Snake. That it? That's it? Now, there was a big guy right there. Now, there may still be a bear in here. It's difficult to make out objects with this. Okay, we got... That's a screamer, or not a, or not a screamer, a... Um, yeah, crawler. Spider monkey. Whatever you want to call him. He's down for the count. We got somebody else in here. One shot, one kill. Looks like this guy wants to take it in the groin. I can oblige you. I can oblige you. Okay, we got somebody right here. I've cranked up my uh, sneak attack damage too because it's really important when you're out zombie hunting. That hasn't been enough for the for the. Uh, loot to respawn, which I like. I mean, it'd be nice if it did, but it's kind of cheating if you kind of go back when it's respawned. Now, we never did grab this auto tour because it needed to be repaired, I think. Now, there should be guys... Oh, yeah, there's that bear. Um, see how we do. We got, what, 16 rounds? Eight, nine, nine. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Now, we've got still a whole bunch of chests here. There's more on the other side, too, that we never really cleared out. Now, from what I remember, there's a bunch of guys down in here, too. It's so hard to make stuff out with this. Okay, we got someone right here. We had somebody right there. Okay, we got two more awake. I'm on the barbed wire. Oh, it needs repairs, damn it! Somebody woke up. Looks like he's on the wire too. He's down. Got a runner from over here. He's down. Okay, looks quiet. So now with these things, you need specific repair kits to be able to repair your firearms. Tools use the regular repair kits, but you gotta make special repair kits to repair your firearms, which I think is kinda cool. It means you gotta carry more kits and stuff around with you. But, you know, it's fine. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Uh, did we bring any pills? We did not. We got lots of these, though. They made sure to make lots of these. want to be at max. I don't want to mess around in here. We're not going to go in there. We don't need to. I think we got everybody here. At least it looks that way. Now, there used to be a boar in here. 
let's go ahead actually let's see what's on the bears apparently bears carry interesting stuff yeah what's this HD double barrel interesting to see what kind of damage that that is 29 per pellet 10 pellets that thing's gonna shred at close range Make sure we're clear here. Looking good on this side. Okay, let's go ahead, see how many of these we can get open. We got, what, four of them? Now, did we, go, we, we went up a level again, didn't we? We don't have any points. Damn, I was going to say we could put some in a lockpick, but let's see how we do. Okay, we got the first one open. That's actually not bad. I mean, I don't know. This one I broke four lockpicks on, then switched over to the other one, which I opened in one. So, Alpha 19 is coming out very shortly for this game. It's the developer's weekend, uh, this past weekend. Um, so all the streamers and stuff got a first shot at it. Now, they've changed some stuff in the game that I, I just completely disagree with, but... You know, it's going to be what it is. Um, but I don't know if they're going to update any of this stuff for that so I'll probably keep playing this series until I feel that like we're pretty much done Ooh, that's nice uh, and then we'll just end it I already know how I want to end it um, but uh, yeah so let's get this one yeah three of them nice um, but yeah, you know, Alpha 19, some of the things they changed, like I said, I disagree with. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's made it more gamey, I guess, in a way. Um, I've always found the game to be very kind of rustic and organic. Like, you, f you kind of feel like you're in an apocalypse. Whereas now they've added some stuff that makes it more game-like. Um, the one thing that they did um, to try and smooth over stuff... Let's get down here and do it. Um, was they went ahead and um, made it so that when you're breaking into stuff, you find level specific items. So early in the game, chance to find a firearm is almost nil. So, like, you know, you're finding like uh, stone tools and wooden bows and like regular like basic primitive bows. I mean. You're not finding anything really, really useful. Which for me is like, why break into anything then? Why not wait till you're a higher level? It's like a waste of it. Like, I could, could you imagine opening this hardened chest, spending the time to break into this, hoping that you're going to find something that you can use early on, only to find that it's like nothing that you can use? Or that's going to give you any kind of advantage? That would be so frustrating to me. I'd be like, why do I, why am I risking my life to break into like a safe or whatever only to find like a level three stone axe and a level three primitive bow what's the point so i'll be st for me i'd be saving all that stuff i'd break in like i'd be looting like the regular trash piles and stuff but i'm not going to loot like all the important things there's that boar like all the important things i'm just going to wait like what's the why would you not wait Unless you have, like, your loot set to respawn every 15 days or whatever. You know, it's like, it, it doesn't... Why would you loot anything until later on? Now, we, we, we've searched that one already. Let's go this way. I know there's some Zambonis over here. Which seems to me very, very strange. Now, they've changed the skill system, too, slightly. And for me, the skill system is broken. I'm finding that the only way that they're going to fix the skill system is to disconnect the skills from the stats. Have the stats be bonus to the skills, but disconnect them from this, like disconnect the skills from the stats. That's all quiet. I haven't broken into that one yet. Nobody there. That's all quiet. Oh, we got somebody over here. Had somebody over there. I'm hearing a sleeper. I think they sound really close, but I think they're in that tent across the way there. 
But I'm going to go back out and around here. Keep my back clear. But yeah, and then they've got like candies to the game. Like they added what's called candies to the game, which give you like between like a five minute and a ten minute buff to certain skills. Like so 100% on lock picking and so you're guaranteed to lock pick stuff. God, it's so hard to see people here. So, I mean, that's kind of interesting, but you can see what I mean b about making it more game-like. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you, you find items to give you a bonus for melee damage, and you find items that... Uh-oh. Apparently it's Sarah Baskins. If you don't know who that is, go check it out. Okay guys, not, you, you heard it here on this channel, 9 out of 10 corpses agree it was Carol Baskins. Just saying. 9 out of 10 corpses agree. Alright, let's see what we left in this chest. Of, yeah, I know. What are we leaving here? Cornmeal. <laughs> I'm taking it. Just fuck it, why wouldn't I? Alright, nothing in there. Now, how many, I think we broke into one of these or two of these. How many of these did we get? We got that one. We didn't get that one. We didn't get that one. We didn't get that one. All right. Yeah, so as I was saying, they did change a bunch of stuff, but watching the streamers play, it seems they've added more zombies back into some POIs, which I totally agree with. I'm Some of the POIs, I like having those like low-end POIs that you can go into early game. You know, you go in... There's like one zombie, maybe two zombies, or sometimes there's none, and you just go and you, you clear it, you get your stuff, and you get out. And there's nothing any, there's nothing major in there, but enough things to get started. Like you might find a cooking pot and some empty jars of, uh, like empty glass jars, and you know some murky water, and you know maybe an item or two, some ammo. You know that kind of makes it worth it. Okay, come on, music, go away. Okay, don't hear anybody. Um, so that's kind of worth it. And then they... Um, looks like they've added more zombies back to some of the larger POIs, which I totally agree with. Like, I love the the, the idea, like, the shotgun messiah having lots of zombies in it, you know, which I think it still does. Um, but some of the mediocre P POIs, I think they've added a few more back because it just feels a little bit more zombie heavy. Um, the music they've changed to be, like area and scenario specific which is really cool so if you enter combat the music changes and of course it changes based on where you are so if you're in a building or in the burnt biome or in a desert biome or whatever it, it just it changes based on all that god we're getting good loot here let's open this guy we got a couple more to go that wasn't too bad now i think we've checked all this stuff Oh, we didn't check these boxes? Really? That's not like me. Oh, yeah, because rotten flesh and the uh, dye will work for us. That's great. This will take this, too. I should wrench these beds apart for... Uh, oh, yeah. That's not that's not a uh, foreboding for us. Let's go ahead. Ooh, hey, oh, hey. We can't do anything with that. It's useless for us right now, so let's just go ahead and scrap these. Um, I'm going to come back and wrench these beds. Let's check this last case in here. I think there's two of them? Yeah, there's two of them here. Alright, that's these two open. Ah, not bad. Okay, we got a lot of stuff now. A couple of grenades. Ah, we can go ahead and scrap these guys, save a bit of space. Uh, it's good also too, now with this particular version, uh, War 3 ZUK, um, to not sell your firearms because in order to get make repair kits for the weapons you do have you need to have parts so you need to have hunting rifle parts if you have a hunting rifle you, or a rifle you want to fix um, so it's good to keep those now and just scrap them down for parts so you can make repair kits so that's kind of cool uh, what else can we get rid of here um, let's go ahead and scrap these so that'll merge with that. Um, I'm just trying to 
think of the stuff we want to be able to sell. Now, how much is this worth? Nine. Let's just go ahead and scrap it. Let's scrap this. Uh, what else do we have here? I think that's probably pretty good. Everything else I'm probably going to repair and sell. Uh, these guys are worth what? One, yeah, 149. That's not bad. SMG, we can keep. This we can put into our... Um, do we have one in here? We don't. Let's go ahead and pull this out and put that in. We have, we've got one in the auger which I used a whole lot in the past few days. Well, in-game days. My real days though, uh, it took me about to prep for um, this episode. It took me about, um, I think it was like six real life hours. But when we get back to the house or to the base, I'm gonna show you what I've done. So, well, not what I did, I mean, of course, our team came in to help upgrade the base a bit so they can use it as a forward base of operations. Now, there's a couple of other survivors from my team that um, the uh, extra chem piece that came in to help me out have gone off to help out now. So um, we're, st we're alone again in our base until they're able to come back and coordinate with us. Um, so let's get back to the house and we'll show you what the base looks like now. All right, here we are back at the house. I'm going to go in the cheap and easy way. Uh, there's t there's actually, well, there's three ways into this base. There's this way here that I'll just show you. Jump across here. So. Around the outside, we've got a row of barbed wire and a trench. Now, actually, go, let's go across this way, way again here. Okay, so on the airport side, we've got a double, low, a, a double deep trench here, so the zombies will walk in here, not be able to get to me, and try and walk around to the front here. And then on the back side, it's partially double deep here, right, right where I'm going to be. I can come around back and look out here if I have to. Uh, then there's a single row of barbed wire here just to slow them down a little bit in a little bit of a trench. And they can get across to here. Now in this version uh, of the game, zombies can't get up these steep incline blocks. They, they don't know enough to jump up and climb up. One of the things they nerfed in the next version is that do, the zombies will be able to walk straight up here. So I wanted to try a design or to do a design that I thought the zombies in Alpha 19 won't be able to get up. And what this is, is that this is an overhang here. Now it looks like cloth, but it's not. It's actually uh, cobblestone right now. And I'll show you what that looks like from the inside. Oh yeah, there's a pressure plate here with a dart trap. So the idea, of course this is empowered, but the idea, you know, the zombies are going to walk around to the front because I'm going to be over there. They're going to come around, step on this, get shot in the back by the dart trap in the legs because if there's um, demolishers, I don't want to hit their buttons. So that's a leg shot, and they come around this way, right? And then as they approach here, which is where I'm going to be, inside here, these are trap doors right now, but they'll drop them down. There's a pair of SMG turrets right there. So this is going to shred the zombies as they try to come this way. Got a row of barbed wire all the way up here, then three rows of steel pole, and then a steel, basically a steel frame. I'm up one level, or one block. Double row of iron bars, and I'll be standing right in there shooting out at them. Um, so the zombies that go in this trench will be going along here nice and slow, right, getting ripped up by the barbed wire. They'll come up here, they'll walk up here. First thing they're going to do is walk into the SMGs and then my fire. So hopefully this will shred most of them. Now the SMGs right now have got 900 rounds of pop, so they're good. Let's get up here. We can get in this way. That's one way in. Um, zombies in this version won't be able to, and if this was an another version I would have this extended out a bit so they couldn't walk up. But the idea behind this is I can walk out here and not have to worry about falling down, right? It's all barred in. I can't fall down. But the idea behind this will be in the future versions where they're able to walk up is that you can shoot down here. And if things get tricky, you can just step back, grab a grenade, and bounce it and roll it. It'll hit this and roll straight down and blow up down there, right? So that's the reason why I put these wedges in here. So we can just, like, if we have to step back, we can step back and bounce stuff off here and drop it down. 
and it'll blow up down there. Um, so that's the goal with this. Now this is just an experiment. I don't plan on using this really that much in Horde Knight unless they've decided to group up here and try and climb up, which I don't think they will. They'll give up on this and then go around, I think. Uh, this is the hatchway. That's our escape route. So this goes straight down. And I've kind of done this overkill. Got one door here, and we got another door right here. Right, and then that leads to our base. So, yeah. If they somehow pound through the ground, because this isn't down very deep, it's only down like three or four blocks from the surface. So if they somehow pound into that walkway, um, it's all reinforced, we don't have to worry about them. Uh, there's also this walkway here that, that comes from our main tower. It's all been painted. Everything's been painted. I'll show you tomorrow uh, or the next episode what it looks like all painted. Or actually, we've got four minutes, so we might as well wait and we'll see you in the morning. But uh, this is basically um, cobblestone here with concrete bases. Or it might be, I think it might all be just cobblestone, but this is just a walkway for us to get from up there and jump across and get on here if we have to. Um, and then down here... Let's just go ahead and, yeah, it's still dark. Let's just throw these on again. So if we go down here, these are removable frames that we can pull up when we jump up here. Um, this leads out to the back way. We gotta be careful that we don't fall down here, but this is, if they get caught down here, we can kind of walk out and drop Molotovs or grenades on them or pipe bombs. And it's all protected from vultures and stuff. Now, the new version, the vultures will try and break through these bars, which I think is, a nice change that's a good change the vultures should try but they don't do a lot of damage so anyways this is all outside here is all reinforced steel so this is where we're going to be at the start of the horde night just in here shooting out at them i wanted to kind of make it feel like a bunker um but give us enough protection that we don't have to worry about if they break through like if there's like i think i'm going to run it at 64 zombies so there's going to be a heck of a lot of zombies uh, i'm not sure yet i might only run it at 32 just because I'm not sure what it's going to be like lag-wise. 64 with this version with War 3 ZUK might be a bit laggy. Um, so I might run the first one at 32 and then the next one at 64, but we'll see. But yeah, so there's this there's this level here. Now, if they manage to get through this and they're breaking through here, I can always back up into here and close this door, reinforce steel door, and be in here shooting at them, right? Shooting at them here, shooting at them in here. They're all trapped. Once they start breaking through this and we can see they're getting through, I don't think they will, but if they do, we can come up here, pull the two frames up, close this door. And now they're trapped down there. We can shoot at them from up here, shoot down into there. Um, now, if they break out under this roof, we could be in problems. This is reinforced concrete, not steel. So if they break up onto here, you know, we can gun them from up here, do our best. We can toss grenades and Molotovs out from here. Um, also, too, if the horde gets hairy and it's really big out here, we can come up here and toss grenades and stuff from up here down on them. If we had to uh, they should not be able to get up here this is five blocks high now the new version they will world war z this and climb right up on top uh, right now they'll only, they'll only go um, one on top of each other uh, so it's only like two zombies but in the next version apparently they're going to go world war z and climb right up on this so you'd have to find a way to keep them off which wouldn't be too much of a problem i mean i could just go ahead and throw a, a bar across here and across there and cover it up and it would be no problem keeping them down. I would probably turn these into angle blocks too so I could shoot down easily enough. Um, but it should be no problem keeping them out. Down here, let's just see if we can turn this off now. Uh, do we not have our light working on our helmet? Oh, you know what? Why won't it let me... Oh, there we go. Okay. So down here we've got... Oh, God, this is dis so disorienting now. We've got two SMG turrets, and once these doors go down, they've got full range outside here. I'm just leaving them up for now because I don't think we really need them down, but um, it's also... They're also like blast shields too, um, if we need it. But if we look at the SMGs now... So you can see they've got a full range of fire here. Um, it's cut off a little bit on this side, but then this one can see more out this way so it'll be gunning this guy will be gunning the guys that are walking up and this one will be gunning the guys that get up here that's my goal now I got a junk turret too which I don't know I might have on bird duty we might throw it up here I haven't decided where I want to put that yet this is just the the, uh, the switch that leads out to the plate so if anything happens and I need to rewire we can rewire it 
and this is our power supply here which I need to put the motors in we don't have any motors right now for this one now we have blade traps and stuff too which I'm probably gonna put out I gotta figure out we're gonna probably put wire like um, electrical wire traps across here too so I'll probably put one inside here and then the wire running across and I don't know what I'll do over here we'll figure it out but the wire traps will probably go across here somewhere um, and then out here we might put the blade traps I haven't decided yet but yeah um, the uh, one of the comments in the comment section was uh, you know maybe I shouldn't be worried about having the zombies coming from all sides totally agree I'm hoping this works this will solve the problem I'm thinking that these two in this version anyway with these two edged ramp blocks they're gonna give up on this side and they're gonna come around and try and get me down in here because it'll be the easiest way to get to me um, if they decide for whatever reason that they want to like be banging on these blocks down here to get into me they can go ahead and try um, but like I said once I can hear them out here banging if they're not approaching the front I can come out here and just drop shit on them grenades pipe bombs we got tons of stuff the angle blocks on the outside here really aren't for the zombies to walk down I could have made them straight up and down or or not even like even more angular but that's for me to bounce grenades and stuff off of I'm hoping I can I can get it over and then around but we'll see how it goes you know um, but I think this base should hold out I mean it's all painted too so it kind of looks kind of nice let's go outside can we we might be able to get down from up here this these so these bars here there's all the way along there's two um, cobblestone bars plus the cobblestone ramp block so if they like in the new version if they try and climb up here and these were all steel they have to break through steel three steel bars to be able to get up this ramp and get us and if we just stood up there and shot down on them there's really nothing they can do and it's it's like almost guaranteed headshots when you're in here you know when you're in here shooting down like this and they're coming up it's almost all guaranteed headshots you just stand back a little bit and just shoot them and then you just drop you know pipe bombs will bounce off this and just slide down you don't have to worry about them not going where you want them to because they'll just bounce and then slide down here you know and explode at the bottom so it's you know it's kind of a perfect um, layout now I'll have to test that in Alpha 19 I'm hoping that works but we'll see and maybe somebody else will get my idea too and do the same thing whether they steal it or not I don't really care but you know what it what it is what it is what it is now out here so we've got this up here that comes down from our main base kind of goes out across this way um, now this is all cobble that's all cobble up there it's all cobble it looks metal but it's not I just painted it that way so it's like a metal deck actually let's go up and across and we'll go in the base that way so we'll go up here uh, and then I got a ladder up here so we can get up on the roof if we have to I mean we won't need to but if we ever do we can get up here now I need three frames wood frame block one two three four whatever so all we have to do is just do this we'll grab these so we don't waste them I don't want to leave it there because the zombies if this you know if the zombies see this as a way of getting to me they may stand they may start banging on the pillars down here or they might I don't think they'll try to go into the base but if they do it'll be a nightmare so I don't think they can see it getting to me so this is all painted it's all concrete now too um, I, I mean some of this is cobble but I painted it like concrete I didn't want to go too far with this because I don't think they're ever going to get up here and then of course we can kind of come up in this way getting a bit of lag here and then around I try to make sure everything that I did is all painted now and I held off um, working on the new HD workbenches and stuff we're gonna put them down in here I got the first workbench in um, but we need the gun bench and the ammo bench I can't put it here unfortunately because there's like a space down where zombies can hit so I may have to knock this block out and replace it with something first um, that's the old storage but yeah so that's gonna be the end of this episode I hope you enjoyed it um, there's our base down there so I'm hoping this is gonna hold out during horde night I think it should be no problem um, but we'll see how it goes I mean if like I said worst case scenario we can always retreat back to the tower here and it's pretty fortified we can defend this the, the base is all solid uh, reinforced concrete and everything uh, and if they do for some reason manage to get in well we'll just deal with it at that point we can always run over to the uh, the rooftop over here too now I'll put the door down here I made it uh, 
uh, reinforced steel vault door. So, um, worst case scenario, we can come up here, go out this door, and go under the roof uh, and fight over here. Now, they'll probably try and break in down here, or they might even spawn the roof. Who, know, who knows? But um, we can fight over here on the roof. So, that's the other option, too. All right, so I'm going to leave this here. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, when we come back next time, I don't know if it's going to be hoard or not, but um, we'll figure that out. Do some more flying, do some more driving. I'm going to put everything away. Uh, probably do some more night stuff, too, because I'm kind of enjoying that. If you guys like the night stuff, please drop a comment in the comment section down below. Um, and if you're not into it, we'll switch back to daytimes and do some building raids that way. Whatever. We'll see how it goes. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.